What's up, pipe smokers and cigar smokers? How's it going? Again. <laughs> I'm doing a block of videos all at once because I have a chance to. And I'm just, man, I'm still sweating. It's still kind of hot. In the man cave, it was a hot day today. Still smoking my Acid Rome cigar. If you didn't see my uh, review on that, awesome cigar. I'm almost done with my Johnny Appleseed hard cider. <sighs> I ran out of memory on my memory card. I have an 8 gig memory card. I had to, re <laughs> I had to go through and delete some because uh, it shut down on the camera. stopped on me in the middle of this last review I'm doing. Okay. Um, okay, where did I put it? <laughs> I left it over here. Hold on. Okay. Um, <laughs> I am... Sadly, reviewing this pipe tobacco, um, I'm really disappointed. <laughs> um, I am reviewing. Have you ever? Well, first let me say, I'm sure all of us pipe smokers um, and even cigar smokers have done this. You regret buying a tobacco, and it's not so bad not liking a tobacco if you bought one ounce of it or a pouch of it. Or, you know, a regular size tin of it. Like, okay, you're out of a little bit of money. You don't really like it. Maybe you can find somebody that does. You can give it to them or whatever. But sometimes tobaccos only come in like 14 ounce tubs or tins. And if you don't like it, you're stuck with that tobacco. And this tobacco I am now stuck with, unless I can return it, I... I sent an email um, to pipesandcigars.com. I've been a good customer of theirs for a while. I've uh, been very loyal to them and never returned anything. I asked them, I said, I smoked only one bowl. I'm really disappointed in this tobacco. You know, I don't mind if you charge me a restocking fee. Um, it's cool if you give me store credit, you know, so I can get something I, I know I like. And so I'm waiting for an answer. So <laughs> say a prayer, cross your fingers. Um, Maybe they will. I kind of doubt it, but maybe they will. You know, if I'm stuck with it, maybe this tobacco will get better with age. Who knows? Okay. Here's what I'm talking about. Angler's Dream Pipe Tobacco. Angler's Dream. Um, and this is a Hearth and Home, uh, not a Hearth and Home, a Pipes and Cigars blend. It says, uh, my dad was a fisherman and a good one. I can't remember him ever having a line in the water, water without his pipe handy. In fact, he would usually have a few already packed to save time. Hmm, that's a good idea. When he was fishing, he normally smoked one of the old foil pouch blends that weren't heavily flavored. And the thick clouds of smoke were his favorite bug repellent. With this in mind, I wanted to be able to bring a new blend to our customers that was reminiscent of those old school tobaccos, but with high grade leaf and unique flavors. Enjoy the toasted burley in Virginia's with a whisper of honey, chocolate, and cinnamon while you're landing the big one. Russ Ouellette, or I hope I pronounce his last name right. Russ Ouellette, or Ouellette Blender, Hearth and Home Tobaccos. Now, most people know about Russ. He's a blender for at pipesandcigars.com. Um, this one says, mild to medium, burley Cavendish, Virginia. It's aromatic. It's mellow. Um... He says, this is my tribute to those solid, reliable smokes, light, pleasant aroma, easy on the palate and tongue. Uh, Angler's Dream takes it a step further by using higher quality tobacco and delicate flavors while keeping the price affordable. Now it says, uh, Ed, Edarine's Staff Pick, a great take on the classic blends, cool smoking, awesome in a Missouri Meerschaum. <sighs> I like some of the old foil pouch blends, some of the OTC over-the-counter drugstore blends. Um, <clears throat> like lately, I've been smoking uh, Prince Albert regularly. I've, it's really grown on me. Um, I'm really enjoying Prince Albert. You know what's cool is I uh, at CVS, not CVS, they don't sell tobacco anymore, duh. At Rite Aid, they had two dusty t uh, tubs of this. And they were on sale. They're almost half price, like 18-something each. So I bought both of them. And they were dusty too. Uh, but I bought both of them. I'm glad I did. I got a good deal. But this stuff, I don't like this tobacco. Um, it gave me a little bit of tongue bite. Um, 
it wasn't that smooth. I tried it in a cob. I tried it in a briar. Um, this is what it looks like. You can see that. Um, it has a nice aroma to it. It almost reminds me of the Hearth and Home Classic Burley Cake. Check out my review on that one. Um, that one I like. The Classic Burley Cake is pretty good. But this one is kind of like a cheaper version of it. Um, I don't know. I just I just did not dig this one. Um, I don't know. You can smell the burleys and everything, but... I don't know, man. And now I'm stuck with a whole tub. You know, seeing as how it's a pipes and cigars, tobacco, blend, brand, whatever you want to call it, you would think they would sell it by in bulk, by the ounce. And that way, you know, I would have bought an ounce of it and tried it out. Then I would have known, hey, I don't care for it. But now I have a 14-ounce tub <laughs> that I've stuck with. It costs 26 45, which isn't a lot of money for some people, but for me, you know, we have one income here, my income, so. <laughs> so I'm hoping, I'm praying that they take it back. Um, I don't know, I'm, it's probably wishful thinking and everything, but. Sorry, Russ, some pipe and cigars. I got to give it a thumbs down. Um, it's not that great. <laughs> Um, there's definitely uh, foil pouch blends that are better like Carter Hall uh, Prince Albert so anyways that's my review thanks for watching hope all my reviews are helpful thanks for subscribing and that'll do it for this block of videos I guess uh, probably be a while before I do more who knows I don't know anyways catch you later take care God bless